their storage out the wazoo. I didn't expect it to hold as much as it did. I mean, I knew it was a big piece of furniture, but the amount of items that I was able to put in here is just crazy. I mean, I have probably enough projects in this thing for the next six months. I probably won't use them in the next six months. I'll probably keep adding to it, but I have enough there to keep me busy. Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas. A lot of the videos that you will see on our channel is on how to use HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl for whenever you're making t-shirts, as well as an adhesive vinyl for when you're making stickers and signs and all that fun kind of stuff. And we go through the whole complete process of whether it be how to lay it out on your computer, what types of programs I like the best, Plus I go over reviews of like the Cricut Easy Press, some of the more basic presses that they have on Amazon, which I'll tell you are pretty good quality. So mainly just stuff like that. Before I had the workbox, I had one of the little Ikea Kallax units, the little four square ones sitting back here that had like some pictures and just stuff in cubbies. And then I have a dresser over here that just had stuff stuffed in cubbies. I had. <laughs> Everywhere you looked around here, there was stuff stuffed in cubbies. And I really enjoy being able to see everything because I have this bad problem. If I can't see it, I will go repurchase it. So, I mean, if you look, I have two or three tubes of the same color paint because I couldn't find it or glitters, the same thing. If I didn't know that I had it, I'd just go purchase it again. At least this way I can see everything that I got. The LED light that is in here is nice and powerful. So it gives you that down light so you're not getting a lot of harsh shadows without having a big extra light. So if you had a smaller YouTube channel and you just had that in a ring light, that would give you enough lighting to make your videos nice and crisp without spending a fortune and buying, you know, 30 sets of lights. I also like that I can put all my color pencils and markers and Sharpies and pens because I have an obsession with office supplies. I, I don't know, and I really don't ever use them, but I love gel pens. So I like to be able to see what I have. Everybody that comes in here, I'm like, you have to see this. It is absolutely amazing. I mean, for the small home crafter to be able to close everything up and keep, especially for if you have kids, I mean, most craft furniture that you buy, and a lot of people go to Ikea and purchase things like that, you can't close it up. That mess is always out there. One of my friends tagged me in a post of one of the videos where they were opening it up, and I was like, oh my goodness, that's so cool. And then I had customers asking, well, how do you store your stuff, and what do you recommend? And so I was like, well, that looks like something fun to try. <laughs> I like to have the things around me that make me happy.